Hey everyone, it is Susie, and I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I wanted to do a little craft with me. Um, when I did the video on these little, I call them kind of like little gift um, uh, set, maybe a one-time event um, projects. So I'm going to do it in the uh, Butterflies in Blue. Now this was Tracy Fox. Um, this was her, um, the sketchbook is what that digi's called. And then this is uh, Artie Mays' Butterfly, Butterflies in Blue. So that is what I'm actually going to, to do this in. Now I did, uh, this is just a 5x7 uh, envelope that I have taken and uh, tea stained. So... And when I tea stain, I always try to get somewhat, you know, in here if you're spraying, maybe spritzing your stain on. Of course, if you're just dousing the whole thing, then it, it should um, cover the inside of that anyway. But, uh, but it's just completely tea stained. You're going to, whatever you use, scrapbook paper, you, you need um, at least two uh, full pieces probably to do your, to do your envelope because it's going to take... Uh, pretty much a whole sheet for the front and the back. So just keep that in mind when you're printing it. This, I went ahead and got my book So Now I did use six, six sheets of paper. So you just want to arrange that and uh, I see that I have the wishes come true there and then I printed one on this paper here but that's that'll be just fine. I've got it there too, so just kind of didn't pay attention when I put this one together like I should have. Okay, so, but it'll still work. So six sheets of paper cut down. I've cut this down to a little less, just, just a little bit, maybe an eighth less uh, than the five by seven, so. And before you decorate, it's always a good idea so that you don't waste a lot of time and have to redo something uh, just to make sure that this is going to fit in your envelope okay before you uh, before you get started to make sure you've cut it down you know enough okay so I went ahead and bound this and I'm just going to decorate it already bound so any stitching I do on my pockets and things I will just do and glue it on. Um, that's going to be basically it there. So we will leave that and I'm going to go ahead and start with the envelope. So what I kind of did was I just want to piece this kind of where I would want it. And we know that's a seven wide. So I'm just kind of looking to see maybe how I would want to place it. I think I'm going to take it all right there. So let's get five. Let's go five uh, deep here. So it looks like maybe I want to take, because I want to catch most of this. Um, I'm going to take some off of the very top here. Because I, I just know that I want to, uh, let's see, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this at seven wide. Because I'm going to have all that, and that will catch most of that. So we're going to go ahead and cut that at seven, and then that will give me some more paper to play with on the inside. And then I want to take off a little bit here. Um... I just want to get above the, that lettering there, so. Okay, and this would have to be five. and kind of, Oh, no, I'm going to have to go more than that. Because I do want to catch, I want to catch it kind of right above the wings. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just cut that just above the wings there. Whoops cut some of the wing off. I haven't got quite used to this trimmer yet. How it cuts. I may just have to go ahead and get me a Fiskas uh, and just use this when um, 
I'm just needing when I'm just needing to uh, have a spare there for some reason. Okay, so I've cut this down and I know it's a seven, so let's see where I'm at here. I want to be a little less than seven actually, and I am, so. Okay, let's see uh, how it gets on my front of my envelope here. Make sure I've got it, yeah. Yeah, because I want some of the envelope showing. I don't want it to be completely covered. And I'm going to take a little bit more off of this, I think. Yeah. Okay, so I like the way that looks. All right, so for my back part of my envelope then, I'm going to cover this, which is looks like three and a half, which I'm going to go a little less than three and a half. And I'm only going to, I'm only going to, you know, do this part of it. I'm not going to try to put anything there. Um, so, of course, that's a little less than seven. And what did I say? Three and a half. I'm going to go ahead and write that down. Three and a half by a little less than seven. Okay. All right, and I'm going to let's see. I think I'm going to go this way with it, and and just keep it basically the blue on the back there. Okay. So a little less than seven is what we want. And then I've got to go a little less than five. Or not five, three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. So, yeah, that, that'll work. Okay, so we're going to do that. Oops, the rose is upside down. I have to go this way. All right, and then for this piece here, for it to flap down and be going the right way, okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of cut that out, and I am going to go ahead and just cut it. with my scissors for the edges and then I'll use my trimmer to go across the top to get it even okay now I want that butterfly in there so alright okay Okay, so I'm going to have to cut it down just, just a little for it to, for it to fit how I want it to fit. I, I want it to have a little bit of envelope on the edges there. I want a little bit of that showing. Okay, so, alright, so I'm going to finish inking that up and, uh, and get it ready. Okay, so I got everything inked up and I went ahead and stitched around my pieces because I did want to do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and I just think that's a nice front. I love all that collage. So let's go ahead and just get everything glued up. Okay, so... All right. Okay, let's get the back here. This is such a really um, pretty digital.
Oh, which reminds me, I do have some new uh, fabrics for the face mask um, in the shop. I um, have a little um, Mickey Mouse and um, some new Simplicity. I'll grab them before uh, I get done with the video here and just show you show you the new fabrics. And there's um, some more coming. Uh, some more uh, pretty fabrics coming. I have a feeling we're going to be uh, uh, wearing face masks for quite some time to come yet. Okay. Alright, and then I'm going to get this. And I did rough up the edges a little bit on this because um, I had those pieces uh, for the inside that were going to be a little roughed up. So I went ahead and just, um, oops, didn't get that quite right. Um, so I went ahead and roughed up the, the edges here as well to just kind of give it a the same look on the outside as it will have on the inside. There is the envelope on the front. Now I have to get the little closure made. I'm going to go ahead and just rip that off. That's just one of the little alterations tags. I uh, have restocked the alterations tags and got some garment tags as well that are really nice uh, put in the shop. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little butterfly there as well. So what I will end up doing is um, stitching this uh, butterfly down. I always like to stitch the butterflies and give them some uh, little antennas there. So I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to stitch around um, this though if I stitch that. I think it will, well, I don't know. I might stitch around it. Okay, so I'm going to do that, and then I will come right back. Okay, so I went ahead and did stitch around it, and then uh, I added a little piece of masking tape to hold that stitching uh, where I had sewed that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it here, and I'm just going to glue the bottom part of that. I always like to kind of hold it. Uh, where I'm going to to uh, have it be so that that way I can uh, get my glue exactly where it needs to be and not get too high with it. Okay, and I think I'm going to add it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to add it there somewhere. Okay. So let's just kind of add it there. Yeah. Alright, so the, the envelope is done. So now we will just work kind of on the inside. I really love this. Okay, so let's just set that aside and let's grab our book. What I'm going to need is a little bit of 
paper. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I believe this will be my pocket here. And I will want to stitch around um, the sides there. And then this, I don't know if it's yeah, but I think that'll be okay. So I'm going to actually make this a little booklet to set in there, just like I did the others. And this one here, I may even put a little pocket on it because it's got just a little, um, a little more paper. My paper's a little bigger, so I think I'll put a pocket on the inside. I'll just shut that and make that another little pocket. Okay, so I'm going to add a couple papers to that when I dig my paper out, my uh, stained paper. And I also need to just do a little, a little uh, collage. So I think I'm going to, I'm just going to tear this. Go ahead and rip that. And I think I want some crinkling paper as well for this. And I don't have it out. I'll have to grab some. I want some of that Sagita, Sagita crinkly paper and I'll put, I'll back it in that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and ink up everything and get my paper and go ahead and stitch around my stitch around my uh, pockets as well and I'm just gonna ink this and then I will do the rest um, off camera so okay so let me go get some crinkly paper and go ahead and get stitched stitched around my little um, pockets and all. Okay, so I got my little pockets stitched around. Um, I got my crinkly paper, so, and then I got a uh, sheet of paper that I will actually be using in the uh, little, the little booklet, so. Okay, so that I'm going to tear down and put in there. This, I want to just kind of go ahead and, and uh, rip a little bit. Let's see here. Alright, so I'm going to just kind of try to eyeball. Okay, I'm just going to hand rip the top. Alright, oops, I'm still a little too, uh, too wide there. I didn't pull out my Arteza ruler. I like to rip with that. It's got that little triangular ruler. I still do like that. Okay, let's just tear up a little. Okay, and then here is going to be my little... Um, collage piece for the front. I think just just like that will work just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and get that glued down. And uh, depending on when this video comes out, uh, when I get it posted, I will be doing, or I may have already done, another collaboration with Arteza. Um, I really, really like my triangular ruler. Uh, the mica powders I, I love. I, I haven't uh, really gotten a chance to use them again, uh, but I will. And then the bone folders that come in a set of four. I love the bone folders. So. But uh, anyway, I have another collab, uh, like I said, depending on when I get the, um, uh, the, 
the order of depending on the order of the, how these videos come out um, I do have another collab so with uh, fun fun products again okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just slightly glue that down I'm not gonna worry about catching all the corners because I just love it when there's a little bit of that kind of sticking out and sticking loose or you know looking like it's loose okay all right so let's get some papers done here which it looks like I'm gonna be about a three and a fourth maybe by five and a fourth three and a fourth by five and a fourth so Let's do our three and a fourth. Okay, make sure I'm a little bit straight. Okay, three and a fourth by five and a fourth. Okay, and then I'm just going to take the little odd sized paper and put it. Oh, it looks like it's pretty, um, almost pretty even. Uh, but I'm going to leave it, whatever little odd is there, I'm just going to kind of even it up on the inside. Alright, and then that is what will go in here. Now I am going to go just stitch that down. That's what I'm going to do. I will kind of hold it with a with a uh, yeah, with a clip. So I'm going to just sew that in. Now on these uh, little booklets like this, I, I don't really worry too much about not back tacking. If you're afraid it's going to come loose, just add a little tad of glue there and just let it dry and it'll kind of hold that, hold that stitching. So, but I normally don't worry about it too much. While that is drying, I want to go ahead and get my get my pocket um, glued in so um, yeah. these are just some, some very simple simple little um, little um, journals little gifts I, I, I just look at as gifts Christmas time would be wonderful to just do some Christmas, little Christmas um, sets. Now I didn't, oops, I didn't uh, really worry about making a little uh, indent in these, especially since they're just the, really just the paper. I think they'll be fine not to have that. you know, the little cut out. Okay, and since I got a little bit of glue in there, I want to kind of take something and make sure I'm not sticking. And what we'll do is, as soon as this dries, we'll set it in there. it'll just kind of set in there like that. I think I'll try to ink that up a little bit more. It doesn't even look like I barely touched that with the ink. Let's kind of give it a little of something there. Okay, so I'm going to have to let this dry. I'm going to go ahead and stitch this down. Okay, so I've got this and it's it's dry, so we are good to go. I did stitch the little pocket there in the back of that um, that little booklet there. So that'll just sit in there like that. And then I, since uh, my cover was out of this as well, I want to do something with this so that it just doesn't look like you know it repeated itself. I should have paid a little more attention, but I didn't. Um, what I was thinking was, 
And I want a collage, maybe something like that over it. Let's see here. <clears throat> Let's see here. I've got two things that I'm thinking here. And we'll just see which one looks the best. Alright. Kind of got a little close to the the wing on this one, but I think it'll be okay. Okay. So I'm thinking I oh shoot. Just rip that off a little bit. This is kind of how my day went today. Unfortunately. Some days are just like that. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna do something like that and just kind of do that. Or I thought about just putting this and making another little um, um, tuck or a pocket. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just unsure. I don't want a lot because I've got this pocket right here. So I may have to go with this. I may have to go with my... Because I just need something kind of simple and And just make it look a little different than uh, what's on the uh, cover. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch that butterfly. And then also, I'm thinking I might, if I could find it, Put a little word or something there. I don't know yet. I'm not going to be able to. Oh, could I take this butterfly? No. I was thinking about draping the page. So I'm thinking I might take sweet memories and somehow, uh, oh here, no that's my pocket. Mm, yeah, let's, let's try that. Let's see what we can do with this. Or at least do the memories or something. Do something with that. I think I have to cut that and then maybe do my memories do like maybe sweet memories I'm not really liking that very well yeah, maybe that's what I want. I think that's well how I'm going to go with it. And then Cherished, I might just bring down here somewhere. Okay, so we're just going to do Sweet, just kind of up in there. And then I'm going to cut this as close as I can to that S. Okay. Yeah, I'll just have to come on the butterfly. Okay, so I like that, okay. And then I'm going to do this cherished. Let me go ahead and... Maybe put it somewhere down on the bottom. And then I still have to stitch the little, um, the little butterfly, so, okay. 
Okay, so I got the stitching done. It kind of messed up on me. It's just kind of how my day has gone today for some reason. I've just one of them days when everything you touch just seems to mess up. So, okay, so I'm going to put a little piece of age tape on the back of that. Got a little bit here that was pre made. So I'm going to kind of just stick that on there to hold it. Okay. And I'll kind of see if I can get some of those little needle marks out. If not, it, it'll just be how it goes. So, okay. Alright. I know we're not doing anything to that page. So we'll probably have to put some kind of pocket or something or butterflies or collage here. So, so I think I'm going to use the alterations, the other part of the tag, and just make it a little um, tuck of some sort. So, not sure what I'm going to decorate that with. I think I will cut out the butterfly here and I will be stitching of course just like I did on the uh, other butterfly I'll be stitching those little antennas on probably alright so there's that cut and I do want to ink around the uh, A little butterfly. All right, let's just move this over a little bit. All right, so I think, let's see, I'd like something else to kind of go in there. I think that is what I'm going to tuck in there. Yep. This really came out pretty um, printed on this little regular um, school, like this, this um, wide ruled school paper. And I think that's how I'm going to kind of go with that. Or maybe I'll flip it this way so I don't have both butterflies. Yeah. Okay, so I want the butterfly, but I'd like something else. Maybe I'll put the sweet memories. Let's see if I can cut out the sweet memories. What I'm going to try to do, I believe, is just kind of fussy cut this. The shape that it already has on the paper. No, that may not work. I don't think I'm going to like that. No, I'm not going to like that. Alright, so let's just cut it out. It won't be very straight, but that's okay. Alright, there we go. Maybe ink it up just a hair. And I may get a little crinkly paper going on that tag as well. So let's see if we can get some, just a little bit of, of uh, crinkly paper. Okay. Alright, so I'm wondering if I don't want... Something like that, which I think that looks okay. Alright, so let's just go ahead and grunge this up a bit. I'm actually going to fold that a little more and get some little veins running through it a little bit more. Okay. 
that'll work. And something like that. Just trying to make it really simple. And that is the whole thing with this little thing. Is just make it simple. I am going to Oops, let's uh, put this down first. Uh, let's put that down first. Oh. Then we'll get this butterfly on there. get a little bit of the edges of that butterfly though because I want him good and stuck. Alright, and then we'll just put the sweet memories on there. Alright, there we go. Like that, like that. Okay, then I want to ink up around my my uh, tag. And I believe I'm just going to leave the strings on the tag this time as well. I'm going to take it off. Unless it gets in the way of uh, uh, being a little thicker for the envelope, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, so I'm just going to glue here and here. Hmm. Maybe I want to turn it. I don't want it straight. I think I just want it straight. Okay, so. I'm going to kind of heavily glue that best I can. So that it's stuck really good. Right. We will just place that there. Okay, we will let that dry, and then we will move on to the other page. That is good and dry now, so I'm going to place our little, um, our little piece of here. We're just going to place it in there. All right, I like that, and it's nice and flat, not a lot. A lot of bulk there so okay then I have my double sided and of course that's double sided and I think I'm just gonna leave that blank I can't put too much in here for the simple fact it will get too uh, big for the envelope so I think I want something on this page and then we'll do the little pocket and that will pretty much be be all that we do to this so let's um, figure out something to to do there and I'm wondering yeah I think I'm going to use that and just put a little um like a little collaged piece there or I could use that one even, which is really cute. Yeah, I like that. Now, do I want to tear it or do I want to cut it? I think I'll probably end up tearing it. right under that little number and then tear it here all right whoops okay I'm gonna Okay. 
All right, so let's just kind of put that there. And then I know that I'm going to want, and I don't think I have any more paper here, other than just the sweet memories, and we know we don't want that again. So I may end up cutting another Fussy Cut Butterfly. That's what I may do, and just um, add that there. Let's go ahead and get this cut out. All right, so let's ink this up. Get some of my trash. Okay. And I also think while oh, I'm off. Also, just thinking about it here, maybe I want to I may want to just put this on a little piece of grunge paper so I can stitch it without having to try to hold the book, which would probably be best. Okay, so let's ink this all up. Okay, so I've fallen a little behind on my alphabet challenge, and I'm going to start picking that back up um, here very shortly and get that finished up. It just seems like I've got so many projects going that I just um, have neglected to, to finish that alpha challenge. I still got several letters to finish up. I knew when uh, I was doubling up that there was no way I'd ever be able to just do single, single uh, letters. It, it's taken me quite a long time to do the two letters doubling up, so um, I knew it would just be an impossibility to do it the other way. Sometimes when you just know, you know, that you're not going to be able to to do something. Sometimes it's best just to find a, find an easier way or just not do it at all. So, Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of put that where I want it. And I'm going to do the antennas on this butterfly. And I may actually do a little stitching around uh, this bigger piece as well. So um, I'll get that done. I've got that stitched now, and I did stitch it all the way around, kind of, well, I didn't stitch it all the way around, but stitched it um, as much as I could. I had glued that on already, so. All right, so there is that, and I, I like that. It's just very simple, but yet looks, looks like a nice little collage. Let's get this glued down. And let's just put that right there. That just be a nice little, very simple little, little collage. Okay, let's go ahead. That butterfly needs done just a little bit more. Yeah, that that will work. So happy with that. I love this picture. I love that little tiny rose that's in that paper. That is just super cute. So I guess the only thing that I will be doing now will be putting the pocket, and I'm going to put that pocket, I believe, on this page. And that will really be all there is to this little, this little journal. Very simple, but... Um, but cute, so yeah. going to put that pocket right there. And here is my pocket that I'm going to use. And then I did while I was waiting for that um, one uh, little page to dry that I had done, I went ahead and kind of put together maybe a little collage on this last booklet. That I believe I will just be doing like that. 
Uh, I will be stitching on it, maybe just down in here. Not sure. I might go through the through the um, what you will call it through the number. Not sure yet. So let's get this inked up. I've got the edges torn just a little bit. Let's get it glued down. Okay. All right, we're ready to stick down. book's going to fit right in there and it will fit just nicely and I need to get my collage figured out but I am going to sew I think I'm just going to sew right down the, the where the number is I think that's just what I'm going to do so I'm going to go ahead and get this a little stuck down there I'm going to ink this up a bit on my crinkly paper All right, and that's just going to be, that's just going to be the, um, and the little book, of course, is just like the other one. I just sewed the little uh, um, piece in there, kind of like I did the other one. Oops, it looks like it goes this way. I got it going upside down. Okay, so let me get that stitched, and we'll get it glued on here, and, um, that will really be the end of our book. We'll have it. I may go back up and ink some of the um, ink some of these uh, pages up here on the cover. I see I didn't really do that, so I'm going to do that. But let me get this stitched. Okay, so this is what I decided to stitch on it. Just a just a little funky stitch there. I thought would just be kind of fun. look and make sure I don't look crooked. Alright, so let's get that. Okay. Alright, and while that is a little drying there, um, so it won't stick to the inside of my pocket, I'm going to go ahead and ink up the, um, the back here. I didn't uh, really ink the covers, and they look like they really did need it, but I had not done that. Okay. All right, so that I like that, and this book is actually a little thicker than my uh, my last couple. It feels like it is, probably because of the tag there. I don't know, but it just feels a little thicker. All right, so I think that will just pop in there like so, and then we have our little booklet, our little journal. Oops, I didn't grab the inside of that. All right, there we are. Okay, I'm not going to forget to show you the face masks. I do have them laid back, um, and I will show them at the end of the video here so uh here's what we look like so cute and then of course you know i think i'll just put this in there that looks like a good place for it i'll have to cut it down just a hair but let's do that yep let's just put that in there that that is just the perfect size for that so there's our little booklet. That's our other little collage we made. Her double-sided. Here is our 
and journaling paper. This does say, you are so amazing right there. And then we got our sweet memories. And we've got our double-sided, where I've printed on both sides of the paper there. A little collage. And then our last little booklet. So fun. Oops, that looks like I'm... Stick that down just a hair more. It's kind of like a bubble. We don't want that. Okay, so isn't that cute? Just love it. So simple, but yet cute. All right, and then it will just slip in our... Like I said, this one's a little thicker than than the last one that I did, but I think we're still fine. We wouldn't want to get any thicker than that. And then we will just put it in there, and there is our little gift journal in our envelope. Yeah. All right, so there we are, and I'm going to show you these masks, so this will be a little, a little um, fun. She, uh, Sharon got some new fabrics, and they are just as cute as they can be. Let me, uh, I don't want to get them dirty. I'm going to peel this off. I don't want to get the face mask dirty. Let me get my hands washed and, uh, move this and clean it up, and then I'll show you those masks. Oh, so here are the new patterns. This is another simplicity. And these are so cute. This one has like a blue and the purple. Just really cute. And then this is the back side. And of course you have your little pocket for your filter. Just sewing themed there. And of course here is the cheetah um, print that I had. Only this has a black elastic. She made these and the first one's worth white. And she had such a hard time getting... Um, the elastics and she even had to order thread because you could even buy thread at Walmart. It was just wiped out. So um, these here she had to raise the price on uh, for that fact and uh, a few dollars. So this one here is a Mickey and Minnie. And of course your patterns are going to change as the fabric changes. Um, some of them may not have many. I think one of them has a little car. So I mean and you're just going to get it at random. So but uh, there is that. But like I said, every pattern will change um, because the fabric changes in all your mask. Um, I got two cheetahs there. Didn't mean to do that. Um, here is a little um, cat and kittens there. I don't know if you can see that print or not very good. Uh, there's your kitty cat right there. And then here is the back, which is a little sewing theme. So, and then this is the um, daisy right here. And this is really cute. And it just has a uh, little black and white polka dot. My daughter loves daisies, and uh, she made her one of these. So that's going to be really cute. I haven't got it to her yet. And then here is the regular simplicity that I had um, that she made the first time around. I think I think there's all, I think there's a few of these left in the shop. And all of these will have the uh, uh, pocket for the filter uh, and the wire um, to go around your nose or at the bridge of your nose. And then here is just like a little pirate. Um, skull and bones, hair cross bones, or whatever they call it here. Um, and here is the back side to that. And this is the back side to the simplicity. I can't remember if I showed you or not. So anyway, those are the new face masks that are in the shop. Um, just some fun patterns. And uh, anyway, just wanted to share that with you. So have a great day, uh, everybody, and stay crafty. And I will catch you in the next video.